Hey everybody, Moo here. The October leaks have been released. Well, it's more of a preview at this point because this stuff will be going live in your games in just a day now, so you will see it all very, very soon. But first things first, as always, Tim Luke went through the trouble of data mining this stuff with one day left. So huge shout out. He absolutely didn't have to do it this time around because again, in one day we will see it all. But he did and we appreciate that effort very, very much. Make sure to go on the Reddit and leave him a big, huge thank you because even though you will have it all in your game in a day, it's a lot easier to see it all in one page, all rotating. We can kind of talk about it. We can see how you want to approach your October and it should be a little bit more of a streamlined process with everything just visually laid out in front of you. And that is why I also felt like I still should make the video even though there is one day left. So again, Tim Luke, thank you so much for doing all the hard work, dude. I appreciate it very, very much. And I'm sure everybody else does as well. And to no surprise, everyone basically guessed it right on the money we are in fact going to be getting the halloween event that was available on the japanese server last year uh, generally the way these seasonal events work is they do have a one year cycle uh, the other ones we can get up to two months as quickly uh, but these ones generally do take a full year because i mean halloween it happens once a year right so it is what it is uh, the three new Tsumtsum we will be getting this month are all above average and better than above average. <laughs> uh, so that is also good news. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you want Prince Ali. You guys want Mar- I know I want Marvel. Uh, Spider-Man. It looks like Disney and Sony are playing nice again. So, you know, may we might get a mo another movie, a Spider-Man movie. And, you know, maybe we'll get the Marvel Tsum Tsum sometime in the recent future. Uh, that would be amazing. But this October, we are getting some Halloween Tsum Tsum. The best one, in my opinion, is going to be the one in the middle of that premium box outline right there. And it's going to be Mischievous Jack. And essentially what he is, is an improved version of Cruiser Ramirez. He has a two stage uh, burst. Unlike Cruiser Ramirez, who does both of them at the same time, and each one hits for about 22-ish Tsum Tsum, his happens in two stages. The first one hits for about 22-ish. Then he generates a pumpkin, which then explodes for 30 plus, which is why he is a little bit better than Cruiser Ramirez. Uh, because if you guys watched my video in how chain length affects coin earnings, you know that the longer the chains, the exponentially higher amounts of coin you get. So instead of getting 222 chains, you get a 22 chain and a 30 chain. That 30 chain is going to be substantially better than a second 22 chain. It doesn't seem like much, but it is. So you can expect relatively decent coin earnings from Monsieur Jacques, probably in the range to uh, about five to 6,000 base coin. So very, very good in my opinion, fun to play. Uh, very flexible as well, because the stu two stages generally mean you get a little bit more play and how you wanna approach him, how you wanna re-enter fever time and the might some generation, all that good stuff, pretty cool. The other one we are going to be getting is Vampirio Stedius on the right. Vampire Teddy, a basic horizontal clear, generates two magic bubbles at the end of the animation of the skill. Nothing really to write home about. And the dude with the red hair, Locke, whatever his name is. Anyways, you can think of him as a Hawaiian stitch, the pattern of his outline, except instead of bursting around the top and the, the sides and the bottom, what he does is he summons a Tsum Tsum and you have to manually link across the screen in that pattern. So, you know, you guys already know that's really not my favorite type of Tsum Tsum, but Jack is gonna be very, very good. He is absolutely the one to get out of the three if you are going to be targeting the premium boxes. But in my personal opinion, where it is at, in the month of October is going to be the select boxes. There is some seriously high quality stuff happening in those select boxes, in particular the one on screen right now. You're gonna get the three Maleficents in there. The two that you want is of course, the Dark Fairy Maleficent, which is the best of the bunch. All three of them do the same thing, just the original Maleficent was incredible if you got really good at her, then, you got Maleficent Dragon, which builds upon Maleficent. 
and then you get Dark Fairy Maleficent, which built upon Maleficent Dragon. So, uh, Maleficent, Dark Fairy Maleficent is essentially everything the other two are, but easier to play, and therefore easier to master, and therefore easier to uh, really get the maximum value out of that Tsum Tsum. I also like some of the other Tsum in that box. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Parade Tinkerbell. Oh wait, it was not Parade Tink Tinkerbell, my, my bad. It was just regular Tinkerbell. That's, that's quite all right. She's not bad, she's average at best. But uh, the other one I like in that box is going to be Officer Nick, he's pretty cool. Uh, Princess Aurora is decent. Uh, Officer Judy is not bad as well. So that box, about half the Tsum Tsum are top tier. The Maleficents are literally top three in the game. So very, very, very strong. This box right here, you have Halloween Sora, very decent. Uh, Romance Beast, very decent. Baymax 2.0, very decent. Carl, decent. Again, that's probably gonna be the weakest box out of the three, but even that one has some really good Tsum Tsum. And you know, you get the Pumpkin, Mi Pumpkin Mickey. Uh, those ones are nice for the collectionists. They don't come around very often. I don't think I've seen that one this year, actually. Maybe in a capsule one time or something. Like, uh, So if you still need those to complete your collections, it's still worth going for it. Again, there's only 12 of those in the, in the rotation in that box. So you should be able to have relatively decent odds. And then this is the other awesome box, dude. Pumpkin. Pumpkin King, dude, I cannot say pumpkin. I don't know what is wrong with me. Pumpkin King <laughs> and uh, Boogie. Those two are huge. As you guys know, Boogie is probably still my favorite Tsum Tsum in the game. I like the RNG they built into his dice. You get a reroll as well if you get a really bad number are really, really good. Those two alone are worth it for this box. You also have, again, uh, some of the other ones that you might want for the collections and all in all pretty good mummy donald halloween sora again all that box is pretty good as well so all the select boxes are going to do you justice but the one you want to target if you're looking for the absolute best value for your coin is going to be the maleficent one so if, if you still need to get the maleficent dragon or if you still need copies of Dark Fairy, that's the one you should target, absolutely. Uh, as far as the uh, capsules go, of course, always get those if you have the funds because they get you a skill ticket once you buy it out. That skill ticket is the most valuable currency in this game. They're super rare. You can literally only get them from the capsules or from the end of events or you know, whenever line feels generous with handing them out. And because you can target them at any Tsum Tsum you want, they are just that good. I mean, you know, think about it. If, if even a premium box, you have a one in 12 chance of getting a Tsum Tsum you want, how many times do you need to buy more and more copies in order to get that one Tsum maxed out? Well, the skill tickets, you just target the one you want, boom, you get one, some applied to that skill. So very, very good. Always get those if you can. The uh, capsules themselves, as far as the quality goes, you get some more Baymax 2.0 in there. Jafar is decent. The rest are kind of all right. So that one's not the best. This one, however, is because the poo is the best Tsum Tsum in the game. If you guys saw my Nolus video, you know how amazing he is. He just throws some apples on the screen and nothing happens. It, it's as, as if you never even had a skill to use. It is impeccable that you get a poo. I'm kidding. Bat Hat Mini is, however, the one you want to get. Extremely powerful for a SL3 Tsum Tsum. Uh, easily can get five to 6,000 base coin. You get one copy, you get the two skill tickets from buying out both of these capsules. Boom, you're good to go. SL3 Bad Hat Mini can earn you a lot of coin. Uh, I do have a video on her as well if you wanna kind of practice and check out to see how you use her. She does layer bats on a screen. So there is a little bit of a strategy involved in how you tap them to maximize their explosive range and you get more coin as a result. Uh, she, there is also other Tsum Tsum in that capsule that are kind of worth getting, but she is the all-star. Captain Hook is one of them, 
and Scar used to be incredible. He's kind of a run of the mill nowadays and Jetpack Alien is extremely handy for missions, especially the ones that require you to make long chains or, you know, clear a certain green symptom like a billion times. Uh, he's going to be the one you want because he generates an incredible amount of Jetpack Aliens on screen. You can make time bubbles with him. Very, very useful for the missions, the bingo cards, all that good stuff. Bad Hat Mini for the coin, Captain Hook for coin, Apu for wasting your time. But, but yeah, Apu, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. You, you should not be in the game. Not be in the game at all, dude. Anyways, well, that is going to be your October. Again, let me recap real quick. The capsule you want to get is the one with Bad Hat Mini in it and both for the skill tickets if you have the funds. If you don't, target Bad Hat Mini, especially if you don't have her yet. As far as the select boxes go, I am very partial towards two of them. Uh, one of them is going to be the one with the Maleficence in it, top tier, top three in the game, literally, both Dark Fairy and Maleficent Dragon. Uh, so you definitely want that one. And the other one, Boogie and Pumpkin King. Oh my god, I said it right. That one is also incredible. Those two are very, very good. Probably 90th percentile as far as coin earnings are concerned, in my opinion. Especially if you roll a bunch of 11s or, or more uh, with the Boogies. He's going to be earning you, you know, six, seven, eight thousand base coins. So very, very strong. Pumpkin King is very similar to the Maleficence. So you can kind of make the connection there. Uh, the other thing I want to say before I leave you guys off, I should have probably said this at the beginning of the video because I don't know how many people will still be watching this deep in, but if you are, I just want you guys to know I will be going on another trip at the start of November. So the first two weeks of November, I will be away. I will be flying across the world, taking photos, all that good stuff, making some more vlogs. I know I have been neglecting that channel a little bit, but literally I, I work full time. So travel is not something I can do as often as the kids out there. You know what I mean? But when I can, I will certainly record the footage and share it with you guys. And I'm in the process of setting up an Instagram account. I will, of course, update you on that status so you can follow me and uh, you can see my photos. You can see some clips. It'll be a little bit easier to use than Twitter as far as posting media. So uh, I think I'm going to use the Twitter from now on just for gaming related news or just like little tidbits here and there and all the vlogging and the photo stuff, the video stuff, all that is going to be going on the Instagram. And that's basically going to do it for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to leave it all in the cow men section hello and you know i will try to get back to you as soon as i possibly can i generally read and or answer all requests and questions and things like that i do my best anyways some i omit because uh if i do not respond to you there's a good chance i've already responded to a similar question a thousand times across all my videos already so uh, please do me a huge huge favor and check out the other stuff, see if you can find it on the channel. If not, pester me some more, and I will be sure to get back at you. Anyways, I hope your October goes fantastic. I hope you get all the tsum tsum you want. I wish you all the best, all the luck. Get those skill tickets, get everything you want, success with the pins, get all that good stuff from the actual event itself. <laughs> and uh, one last thing before I go, if you do support the game with the items that are on sale, the Ruby sales, everything like that, it does benefit the community as a whole because the developers need to make a, a, a scratch in order to keep the game going. And if they're happy, then we get to keep on playing. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I'll keep you posted on the Instagram, the trip stuff. Until that time, thank you again for watching. Peace out, have a good night, and good luck one more time.